I'm Sinead Bryan, associate producer over at Capcom, and we're about to take a look at Dark Void. So this level that we're showing off right here is about two-thirds of the way through the title. Uh, by the time you get here, you're literally a, sort of a god of the skies. And uh, so we're kind of throw, going to throw a whole lot of stuff at you. So what you can kind of see is the fiction behind this level is you see the Ark, which is the sort of like humanity's uh, escape craft, crafted by Nikola Tesla. And the Watchers, who are basically your bad guys in the game, just located it and are attempting to take it out. Um, they know that uh, since the majority of the survivors are located in this craft, if they can destroy it, they pretty much it's pretty much game over for humanity. So you can see they're sending off uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, enemies my way. We've got three different uh, uh, aerial aerial combatants right here. You see the shielded UFOs that we just introduced here. Basically, call those UFO spheres uh, for good reason. The u u your usual uh, UFO disc, which are UFO or typical UFOs, and also you'll see the knights who you'll have encountered earlier in the game. But this is going to be their uh, their aerial mode. So you see those guys coming up behind you and uh, trying to take you out. So um, for those of you who are not familiar with Dark Void, uh, let me give you the background for it. So the main character right here is named Will, William Augustus Gray, and he's sort of what we call uh, an everyman, sort of like a down on his luck cargo pilot who winds up flying a mission through the Bermuda Triangle and crash landing and winding up in the void. So uh, once he's in the void, he runs into other survivors, other humans who have wound up uh, getting sucked in as well. That includes uh, Nikola Tesla, and Nikola Tesla uh, as leader of the survivors, or at least one of the key members of the survivor force, builds your jetpack, builds your guns, builds all the really kind of cool gear and awesome stuff that you find in the game, and you go on to come kind of become a jetpack hero. So um, we're releasing the game on uh, PS3, 360, and PC. Uh, ship date is January 12, 2010. I hope you guys will come out and get it. And it's an awesome game. So uh, anyhow, you guys can see I'm taking out some of these UFOs. We come in behind some of these guys. And if, if anyone hasn't seen, you know, the, the main features of Dark Boy, besides having a guy with a jetpack, uh, is we've actually got on-foot modes as well, which I'll get to in just a second. And we also have uh, vertical combat, which is sort of a thing that melds the on-foot and the uh, in-flight portions of the game, as well as hover combat, which is a new sort of feature we implemented with the recent delay that you guys might have heard about. So I'm going to take out one of these guys' shield. Oh, that was close. See if I can get in close enough to take out one of these guys' shields real quick, and we're going to hijack this dude and take his ride. So his shield drops right here. If I can get in close enough to him and mash the B button, we're just going to take his, take his UFO from him. So you can kind of see, you know, the, the UFOs, I mean, like I said, literally, you know, by the time you get to the point of the game, you've got a lot of enemies, we've got a lot of guys who are coming at you, uh, trying to make your life a lot more difficult. Let's, Go ahead and attach onto this guy right here. This guy's smoking just a little bit. He's going to try and uh, eject me, of course. And I'm trying to get around to the back right here. Hang on for dear life. I'm trying to get around to the back control panel because if I can get over there, I can actually uh, take control of his ship. And basically, I've annoyed the pilot enough that he's going to reveal himself, and uh, his life's going to get a little bit more more difficult at that point. So one of the kind of key features besides the jetpack, uh, you know, the things that we've been talking about with the game, uh, I mean, basically we've been trying to make sure that people actually use the jetpack and the hover pack uh, the way that you would use it in real life. So imagine you actually had a jetpack, imagine you actually had a hover pack in real life as possibly uh, unlikely as that is, um, you know, you would use it for everyday travel. You know, if I need to go down the hallway to, to deliver, deliver a message to somebody, I'm going to use my jetpack because why not? Uh, if I need to, uh, you know, get to work a little bit faster because I woke up late, I'm going to use my jetpack. So you guys see right there, I just went ahead and hijacked this UFO. I've got guys who are behind me. My UFO is actually smoking right now. And the, the UFO, the difference between flying it and flying will is I've got actually two weapons on it. Uh, the regular sort of like UFO blasters, additional, in addition a, uh, a, a secondary weapon that's got sort of like limited homing capabilities on it. So you guys can see this one's actually pretty damaged. So I'm going to ditch this and go back to being a guy with a jetpack. So you guys can kind of see like the seamless transition between, uh, you know, flying different vehicles, being a guy with a jetpack, that sort of thing. So, I mean, that's one of the th main tenets of Dark Void is uh, the sort of seamless transition between modes. We, we already knew that we were kind of combining a lot of really sort of unique gameplay features uh, in creating Dark Void. And uh, the whole purpose of it is making it feel like, you know, we don't want it to feel like they're playing three different games or something like that. 
This is literally, you know, going through gameplay testing it and making the game feel as cohesive and as awesome as it is. So uh, for people who haven't seen the game since, uh, say, last year, E3, uh, what we showed off then was sort of, I like to say, as a proof of concept. Literally, it was sort of like, we've got this idea called vertical combat. Um, does it work? Do people understand it? Does it gel? Um, and will people, like, really kind of come to love it? And, and basically what we kind of got coming off of uh, uh, E3 was sort of a resounding yes. So we went back to the drawing board and a lot of things. We came, came in and really tried to kind of double down on the gameplay features and uh, the kind of tenets that we've kind of set up. And that's what's come to what Dark Void is right now. So you guys can see I took out those uh, on-foot guys and I'm moving into the on-foot portion of the game. I took out those in-air guys and moved into the on-foot portion of the game. So I came in and strafed a lot of these guys. And you guys see I just moved from uh, in-flight to on-foot just like that. So new feature of the game that we've talked about recently is the hover feature right here. Previously, we, had, we did have a hover uh, ability in the game, but it was always a gradual descent. What we did right here is actually allow you to uh, gain altitude using the hover feature, and it really changes the way the gameplay works. So you can see I can come around behind these guys. If I can manage my hover, I can actually stay in air indefinitely and uh, take out a lot of these enemies. So additionally, uh, your, your enemies that you're fighting have uh, lower accuracy, of course, when you're, you're in the air. I mean, you're, you're a tiny little guy. You're a lot harder to hit when you're hovering around. So um, it's really in the player's best interest to use your hover mode, use your jetpack, use all the kind of cool gear that Nikola Tesla got for you so that you can actually take on the watchers on their own turf and, and destroy them and, and win, essentially. So you can see I'm going to drop a watcher mine. Let's see if I can actually do a better throw than that one. Take these guys out. And you'll actually, as you progress through the game, you'll see enemies that actually are using hover packs and jet packs as much as you are. We want players to actually use this, like I mentioned, you know, we don't want, I mean, you have the opportunity, you have the option of using the game and using the, the guns and, and uh, gear like it, was, uh, like it was Gears of War or something. But, you know, this is not Gears. You can see that the gameplay that we actually feature is a lot faster paced. It's a lot more hectic. I like to say that it moves at 300 miles per hour, just like your jet pack does. So we really want to encourage players to use the hover pack and the jet pack in all aspects of the gameplay. So I'm going to use my hover pack back out of this right here, take out some of these guys from the sky, gain a little altitude, get in a better position, drop right in behind him, and do a melee attack on him. So like I said, those are this is sort of gameplay in Dark Boy you know, that we're, we're kind of promising people here. This is very unique. It's not anything that's offered in any type of uh, any other of the games that's on the market right now. So you guys can see what I'm doing right now is I'm actually um, protecting the fuel pumps that are uh, uh, feeding fuel to the Ark. So I've got one more fuel pump that I've got to protect. The watchers are dropping off uh, uh, ground troops, shock troops, I guess, uh, as we kind of move on because they're just not satisfied with their first failed attempt. So I can take out the rest of these guys right here then I'll be able to take out, hopefully like uh, uh, deflect their forces. So you can also see, you know, I'm not giving these guys a chance right now, but your enemies actually use uh, hover packs, they use jet packs, they use uh, cover just as much as you do. And so, you know, it, that's why, I, you know, when I play it at least, you know, I use my, my jet pack and my hover pack gratuitously. I want to make sure I'm not giving those guys the, uh, the upper hand or the high ground in this battle. I'm going to come in behind this guy, melee attack on him, back off from him, come around to the side, and let's drop a grenade on some of these guys over in here. And let's go ahead and drill him while he's in, the, in that damage over time field. So. You guys can see, that's Dark Void, the hover feature, the uh, 360 degrees of combat. I hope you guys will pick it up on January 12th.